Hello, hello, Nicolette. Hello, everybody. Hi. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing amazing. And how are you? I had no chance to ask you. How are you? Where are you? I'm doing really good. Yeah, I'm in London. So we had some awesome classes at the weekend with we body process classes. We had um, an introduction to bars and business with a being you class. It was lots and lots of fun. And then I was at the West End last night to see my friend uh, Jared Nerden. He was in uh, We Will Rock You, a musical. And it was. Yeah, really, really, really cool. I and saw you shopping. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was uh, buying some shirts and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> elegance. Yes, exactly. So the elegance of receiving. So that's what we're mm. talking about this evening, guys. So Nicolette, where would you like to start? Wow. Where should we start? I, um, wow. Um, yeah, I, I think I know where. So for me, receiving... So when I heard the word receiving, it was the first time when I came to the first access class and someone told me, oh, receiving. I'm like, what does that mean, receiving? I don't even know. And so for me, it has changed so much. What does that mean to receive? So uh, I don't know where we're going to go today, but I, I hope that uh, all this info will come out because I have such a different point of view about receiving than I, I used to have before. So it's, uh, yeah, what does that mean for you? and how does that look like for you? Yeah, so I suppose two things. So the elegance. So the elegance is doing the minimum and getting the maximum return. So it's like allowing things to be elegant, allowing them to be beautiful. And then in this reality, it's all based on give and take. So I give you this, you get that. But nature, we see, works in a totally different way. Nature works in gifting and receiving. And it's a question I've been asking a lot the last couple of months show me receiving and it's like there's so many beautiful things showing up I'm at one of my friend's house in London and we've had such a beautiful time it's been so nurturing we've done so many classes but it's like it's the real ease that life can show up with where it's just gifting and receiving it's just it's like water it just flows in flows out flows in flows out and it's allowing that sense of ease into your life and that's for me that's the elegance of receiving and allowing more of it to come in mm. I just had a conversation before we started with a friend of mine and he is a really really famous Hungarian guy he is um he's basically a public speaker like a motivational speaker mm -hmm. and he basically filled up a whole arena twice in one year here in Hungary wow. with like 100,000 of people it was it was amazing and uh we are friends and I know him for a long time and today we had the chat and I'm like hey what's up how are you because I don't see you creating and he's like yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just doing this kind of hiding mood because I'm, I got enough of people and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And he told me, he's like, you know, I was seeing you creating. And the first thing that came up for me, I'm like, kind of like envious or je not like jealousy, but envious or something like that. And he was like, yeah, but would I be willing to do what she does for that success? And I was like, hey, you don't have to do it anymore. Did you realize it? And I was like, hey, just stop it for a moment. I'm like, that's such a point of view that you have to work a lot to get yeah. the result. I'm like, hey, you already done it. You have, and I was like, you just only need to move your fingertip and then everything would be yours. I'm like, that, that's not true anymore. Like you have to do the same work. And that's what I told him. I'm like, you know, when I started five years ago, yeah. I was working 16 hours a day. I was creating the content, creating the invoice. I was, you know, doing the um, um, customer care. I was everything in one person. And what I realized, I don't do it anymore. I don't do so much anymore. I have such a relaxation in my world. And then I, I have more space because, you know, that was necessary to get where I am. But you have to realize at some point that it's, you don't have to do the same amount of work anymore because you have changed. You expanded into your being, you expanded into yourself more and you have more available with less doing. 
And it was like so interesting to see like, here is this such an amazing guy. I don't really know anyone else who filled that whole arena. Like, come on, it's like a- Yeah, it's pre- pretty cool. A hundred thousand people. Wow, what would that take? Yeah. Can you imagine? And like, and he now, he has kind of a hard time to fill up a smaller room with mm. people. Yeah. And, I, and he's like, yeah, but I won't, like, I, I get that and I did that before, but I'm not willing to do that amount of work that you are putting into your business. And I'm like, I'm not really putting that much effort in it anymore. It used to be, but I don't do it anymore because with less doing, I create more. And so I think this is what you were talking about is like, yeah, putting less effort and create more. Yeah, and also allowing the universe to do the work. So it's like the gifting and receiving, because when you do something that you're passionate about, like we travel around the world facilitating classes with access consciousness, 200 people might come, 100 people might come, 10 people will come, or two people will come. And it's like you still facilitate the class and you still create. And it's like it's actually acknowledge the gifting and receiving as you become a greater being or get in contact with the greatness of your being and actually acknowledge that and start to tap into that more, the creation becomes so much easier, but also people come along who want to contribute. And that makes it so beautiful because they're like, oh, here we go. Cool. Let's play this. Let's do this. And it makes it more fun. Yeah, I I, I do what I do see. So I have a membership. We have like 2000 people in it. And every month we have a different topic. And this month we have... Um, the topic um universe show me oh wow so, yeah. yeah awesome nice and, topic and we, yeah yeah and so i create a recording every single day and you know for me creating those recordings is not like a work it's more like i facilitate myself every single yeah. day when i talk about something and it was such a nice experience with the whole month just like going through all those you know areas of your life where we are not so so when we, we are thinking, when we we put up all these walls and barriers, and then like mostly when you are thinking and you are in your head, you have walls around you. And it's just interesting to you, like what I have realized with my life is like as much as I try to get out of my head, because for me, thinking is not that elegant. Mm. Like forcing something into existence is not too elegant because it has its its force. And so what I'm realizing with my life is, so when you are thinking, when you are in your head, when you are like responding to everything and has all these, you know, reaction to everything, you don't really allow the universe to gift you with its magic. You are not open to those things. And so that was what we were discovering this month. And it was really nice also for me just to see how much I'm resisting that. And then just like every single morning when I woke up, I was like, okay, what am I, like every morning I asked like, hey universe, just show me, like, like just surprise me today with something, just surprise me. And so, you know, what I see so every single morning we got the choice to create something different that we did yesterday. And that's for me, it's so nice. So every morning when I wake up, I, 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 when, so sorry, I have to go back a little bit. So when I wake up every morning and I change my routine to ask questions more than like going into the yeah. to-do list and everything, what I have to do, like I used to do before. And so when I just changed this one thing that I woke up in the morning and I had a couple of questions. So what I realized, I'm sure you guys had the same. So did you ever had that you wanted a car? Let's say it was a yellow Fiat 500. Let's say that. Isn't it weird that you step out of the house and then you don't see anything as only yellow Fiat 500 all around you everywhere? You haven't seen one before, but now you saw those things. And so this is what is for me with elegance, with questions, and then creating your life with such an ease is when you wake up in the morning and you ask a question 
and then you step out of the house, you let the universe show you its magic and different things. And so when I wake up in the morning and I'm like, okay, who am I today? Um, what can I be grateful for? That's just only two questions, which I really like. So what I have realized with these questions is kind of with the car, I step out of my house and all these things just shows up that I can be grateful for. So it's like, if for me, um, gratitude and being grateful for something is not about like writing a list about things that, oh, I have, you know, roof of, over my head or I had my legs and arms. It's yeah. more like an everyday discovery. So yeah. when you when you ask those questions, like, okay, what can I be grateful for today? Universe, just show me. And then you leave the house and then you basically become open to the magic that you haven't been open before. And so for me, these simple tools are the best. I love those. I don't really go to the difficult part or the most like, you know, like uh, advanced things. I do love all the tools that are in access bars. Those are yeah. my favorites. Yeah, and, and that's the elegance as well, because it's like today it was one of my friends invited me to go to the cinema in the middle of the day, which is something that I've never done before. I was like, oh my God, I need to go to work. I need to do this. I need to, and it was such, I had such resistance to it. I was like, okay, I need to actually choose this to see what it creates. And like, it was actually, it was incredible. So the movie started at like 11.15 in the morning. It's this beautiful movie theater and like they do coffees and there's big couches. Aww. It's like an incredible experience. And it was just so much gifting and receiving. And like, it was like, wow, really allowing myself to receive. And it's like, so often the only person that stops us is ourself. Like the universe is like, hey, I'd like to gift you this. Hey, I'd like to gift you this. Or, no, I can't have it. No, I can't have it. And that's like- I have to work. But, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm I'm asking for a million euro over here. And the universe is like, yeah, but I'm trying to give you money here. And it's like, it's actually like our willingness to receive. And the more that we can actually see what our points of view are, let them go and just choose. And like- allow the elegance to show up it becomes a beautiful adventure because then you're just asking okay i wonder what's going to show up today what will be fun what will be joyful what will be magical and what would create the life i truly desire and just allowing that to show up yeah but i think most of us like when we start using the tools and we are like really new to all of this information when we leave like we really want to figure everything out and for me that's the other thing so I really do love the question because I love the topic elegance. I talk about that a lot. Yeah. And I always ask myself a question is like, okay, if I'm eating all of this food that on the plate, is it elegant? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> or, you know, when we are like running around and like eating out of the box or something, or, um, is it elegant? Not really. Or just running after the bus like a crazy person and wake up late in the morning and doing everything is, is elegant. And so I really, I like to look at my life and my choices like that through this um, glass, that mm -hmm. glass of elegance. It's like, if I'm doing this, is that elegant? Is that create more for me? And I realized because I used to live my life like that. I had the scooter before I had my accident. And I was the person that um, I was taking care of everyone's problems, right? Like my mom called me, is like, oh, you have to go to the government office to help me with this and that. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I have a scooter, I'm fast, right? Like, so I could go into the one way street from the opposite way because I had the scooter. So I was like always running around. I haven't even seen what was around me. And when I got into my accident and I was not able to ride my scooter anymore. And then I went back like riding the bus or walking around. I realized how much I was rushing. And yeah. for me, that that has no elegance to that. And when I see people um, outside and I see people rushing and on the phone and like being angry and brr, doing all of that, I'm like, wow, that's not the life I would like to create for myself. And for me, elegance is not really, a, not just about a nice meal or a nice restaurant or a nice hotel or a nice 
dress that you wear it's more about the way you are showing up in the world or you yeah. right it's like your choice as you move mm. as you as you create your life everything is has an elegance to it and maybe you wear a jeans and then a white shirt but you look the most elegant person because you have this calmness to your being and so I'm not there but I'm getting there <laughs> yeah totally and and also it's like sometimes we have to choose things that don't really work for us to realize oh that didn't really work for me and it was like as humanoids oftentimes like we'll walk down like seven different alleyways and like okay that didn't work that didn't work it's like okay cool but this one did and it's like then you become aware of what works for you but the thing is don't make yourself wrong because it's just an exploration and allow the universe to gift you what's the universe looking to give to you that you haven't been willing to receive that you can mm. receive now and allow that space to open I do have another uh, story. So I, um, one morning I woke up, it was like a week ago and I was like, okay, I need to write a list what I have to, to, to handle today with my business. So I sit yeah. down because I knew I had a couple of things that I really, it, it really needed some attention. Yeah. So I was asking the question from my business, like, Hey business, so what, where should I put my attention today? So I'm writing and then you know, it's kind of like talk to the, um, I don't know, accountant and talk to this person and that manager and blah, blah, blah. And then, then at some point I'm writing, I'm like, and look for a new home. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> like, where this came from? Like, yeah. that's, that's who does this belong to? What is this? And so when I'm leaving now, I really like this place, but then my neighbors are abusing their child. And then you can hear that all day long from six on the morning until 10 p.m and i am kind of living with them right like we have mm, just one yeah. war between us and i'm in this energy constantly for so so long and when i was um look at i'm like oh no i have to move out i have to find another place or i have to handle this situation i was like so so scared and um i don't know where i wanted to go with this story hold on one second because i lost my ball and then i, I don't even know where i'm going with this so with the, the elegance, ele ele elegance oh, of receiving yeah something oh yeah oh thank you yeah. and so i was like okay that i have to look for another place so i started to look for another place and I find everything so expensive. I, and I was like, oh no, I can't afford this. I can't do this. I can't do it. And like all this thing yeah. came to me and I'm like, okay, I got tired. And then at some point I was like, well, what if I just create this? What if I just ask for something to show up? What if I just change this, you know, narrative that is, is in my head? And that's the beauty of all of this is, and I think this is how to you create with the elegance, but you still have this, like many people, I guess, still have this um, resistance because they life, if they would live their life from this elegance, from asking those questions and then creating and like asking the industry, like, hey, okay, I want a new house. I, I want to move. Like, okay, show up. And then you write down what you want, or I don't know, you just put it out and then just watch to watch it to show up and then many people what I see is they don't go there because they have this fear of being judged that their life is too easy yes yeah yeah, yeah. totally totally yeah. right and like yeah. oh no because it would be too much or oh no 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 okay no it would be and also I know that because it came up for me I'm like oh if I would create the house and I would move there that would be too much for my, you know, the people around me. I'm like, okay. I, and, and realizing that it's so amazing because then you are able to change it. Yeah. And, and when you catch that point of view and you actually see, oh, wow. Okay. I'm holding myself back from my family or my friends, whoever it is. And when you let go of it, because a lot of the time it's just a point of view. And when we let go of it and anything can show up, the most miraculous house can show up or the most amazing place 
And um, last night, one of my friends, Jared Norton, uh, was in a West End show. So I went to see it and uh, it's We Will Rock You. So Jared is from South Africa. And two years ago, he came on one of my courses and he was asking this question. He's living in South Africa. He's like, Paul, I really want to go to the West End. I want to be a West End star. And um, I'm scared it won't work. And I was like, cool. I said, like, okay, what's the worst that'll happen? And he's like, okay, I'll go there and it'll fail and it'll be terrible and I'll have to go back to South Africa. And I said, like, okay, cool. Can you deal with that? And he was like, yeah, I guess I can. I said, why don't you just go for it and just give it a shot and see? And he did. And it's like such a success. And to see him like in this top, top show and he was just brilliant last night, but it was just, it was so inspiring and so beautiful to see. It's quite emotional for both of us. We're literally crying. We're like, wow, this is awesome. Mm. But like, it's what's truly possible for you, you've never considered. And what thing can you dive into that will create greater in your life? And the universe is just waiting to gift and it's our willingness to receive. So what can we actually be and receive today? And also, you know, for me is where did you decide it? Have you decided that it has to be life? It has to be hard or you have to work hard because that's what I see with my first story. I told you, like, we have this point of view that you have to work so hard for everything. And you see, you were able to ask the right question from the person at the right moment and it has changed his life. And it was yeah. just one question at the right moment. It's, um, Really, really amazing. I love the topic elegance because I think we could talk about that for hours because yeah, well, we don't yeah. really allow that ease and, and lightness and relaxation into our words. I do remember, I don't know if you, you do remember, it was like a year ago or two or three, I'm not sure. We got, as CFs, we got an email from Access. It was nothing in it, just one thing so it said getty okay. said if all the cfs would relax then excess could grow 80 percent yes yeah do you remember that email i have, yeah. I have a screenshot how, how many conversations have i had with gary about just just relax it's okay and like i rang him the other day about something to do with the business and we we're going through it and he was like cool yeah it's just this is all you need to and it was just so relaxed and it's like the more that we can relax the more we can receive and uh yeah what's possible so yeah please continue yeah no so for me that email had changed my whole entire life yeah because i didn't know what does that mean relax what relaxation really means to me or like in my universe and honestly what i see with all of these tools is when you get the info it pings you and then you start just looking at and you don't really know what to do with it. But then it was like three years ago. And if you would ask me, I don't know, a year ago or two, what does that mean? Relaxation for me? I would say, oh, having a cocktail and then laying down at the pool. Yeah. And then one year ago, maybe that would mean is is just I don't have to be around people and I don't have to deal with things and then just be. And yeah. now for me, relaxation is the space that you are willing to be for yourself and for others, not going into reaction. And so that's what we are going to talk about in the next month is like we, being, so being willing to be the space for everything around you. And this is what I see. So I had a couple, I wouldn't say that problem, but like money, money, a little bit, the money flow stopped in the business, in my business. And mm -hmm. so we have, we have 10 uh, people full time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you have 10 people full time, two offices and pff, expenses are high, uh, all these taxes here in Hungary, is super high. And then we got to the point where we had basically less income that our expenses yeah. and I was like oh what's going on what's wrong what did I do wrong what should I change and like going into all of this and the team started to like things started to come up also with the team and so I was in the United States and then we saw like I was away from the office so more problems came up and then I realized one interesting thing when we came back 
is that I don't have to go in and tell people like, hey, did you do this? You did that. And it's not good. That's not good. Please change this. Please change that. I realized I do need to do one thing. Just go in, be willing to be there and just be myself. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have to talk to people like, hey, don't talk that way. Don't do this. Don't do that energy. Don't use that. Blah, blah, blah. It's just when I go into the office, everyone starts to relax. Yeah. And I realize that I have this capacity because I changed my whole world or my life. And I realized what I did, I wouldn't say wrong, but what I did in the past is I got to the point when I, it was too much for me. It was enough. I were too much. That was my point of view. Mm-hmm. And I start pulling my energy out of my business, but not just that. Okay. I was, you know, letting people like stopping control and let people do the job. I pulled my energy out completely. So I left them alone. And because my energy wasn't there, people started to acting weird or different than they did before. And that was my big, big aha moment when I realized I should do nothing, just go in every day, work from there, just be there, just do my thing. I don't have to talk to anyone. I don't have to do small talks and ask them to change their, you know, mentality. I just need to go in and then being the inspiration for them. Like, hey, you can be in the world in a different way. And so for me, that's such an inspiration is changing my life, changing myself, like me being me more and being more relaxed. And as you said, being more elegant with the choices I make, like with the less effort, creating more. Yeah. And just, you know, just just inspire others, like without or or yeah without saying anything and so that's for me now I like that's it's pinging me so much because so the next month that's why I want to talk about this so much because I think the the best we can do is like now I think I I start getting what Gary says always is it's 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 all about being nothing about nothing about doing and also keeping your energy in the business it's like even if you're traveling it's like having your energy in the business because once your energy is in the business it's like and you can actually leave your energy in the business even if you're not physically there your energy is still there creating and it's contributing and also we're creating for 500 years 5000 years 5 million years in the future and it's the energy that we're willing to be so when you acknowledge the energy that you be and the contribution you be and the massive contribution you are to the office, once you arrive, everything starts to change. And it's like, how often are we not acknowledging the contribution that we be and what a gift that is? And, you know, that was the other interesting thing. So I was out of the office and when I came back, everything went like, okay. And yeah. when I left, you know, Dane told me because he he been here with the ESB and then I had a question around this and yeah. he was like, "Why would you put humanoids in a box <laughs> in an office?" He's like, "Why you guys have an office?" I'm like, "They need to come in and work because that's what we do." And he's like, "Yeah, well, we don't do that." I'm like, "Oh, uh, okay." And then we started to do home office and. I, I'm I'm always asking like who do you need some contribution so just energetically and now I am being with them and what I realized is all these things that happened while I was gone it was more like because I was gone and nobody was being a reality beyond this reality so they started to creating this casual reality like this normal yeah. reality that everyone does like we go into the office we have some conflicts we do this we are angry and we don't like this and we don't like that i'm like you know yeah and then as i arrived everybody was like oh well this um, that wasn't that much fun so nicolette is back so we can be just unicorns again fine so then everything is back to normal so that was really cool so i i for me this elegance and receiving is all about, yeah, what, like, well, like, what's your energy is creating in the world? 
the energy that you are being when you step into the grocery store when you are talking to someone it's like what I see when I am with people they have this their walls dropping down they are they are less resisting with me um even when I have like a I don't know a meeting with the hotel that we are having like we're going to have a big bar class in Budapest, 400 people. Wow. Yeah. Yay. That makes me so happy. What is that? Yeah, it's uh, November uh, 19th. And so wow. yeah. when awesome. I, while I was gone, my team booked the venue with the, you know, snacks and drinks and everything included for 400 people. And then we have to pay ahead. And I was like, hey, guys, we should have booked for 200 and then before class we could just you know say hey we have more people so we pay more yeah but they're not like i'm like that's just easy i'm like okay let's call the hotel and they're like yeah but you already signed the contract i'm like well i was jet lagged and i didn't look the contract i thought you guys thinking about that but then okay just call them and then she my assistant she said oh but this lady is so, so resistant she does not want to help she she has like one sentence uh responses Absolute, to uh, all of yeah. you know it's like it's like really hard to and I was like hey are you guys willing to be this space with no barriers it's everything it's fine like and calling her from a different space just allow her to change and melt her you know yeah um Presumptive they, realities, yeah. Yes. Learn to melt, yeah, yeah. And so we, we all, all my team, we were being that space. And then she got back to us. She's like, okay, you can do 200. I talked to my manager. We never did this before. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, see? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just, you should just, ah, like, just be the space in which people are able to change. People are able to you know just because that girl we went to the hotel to look the room and she had such a she had walls barriers it was so hard to get with her and then I arrived and I was like I lowered my barriers to just be there I asked her some questions how are you I was just being this around her and and then she she finally started to relax yeah it's like wow yeah and um, you know, my question is, what would it take for all of us to be that for 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 everyone around us? Because what I see is like everyone has these expectations. Is like you have to change. You should not do that. And, and so everyone goes to the other person. But what I realize with my life is, when I'm being this, I'm not doing it for the other person. I'm doing it for myself because that makes my life easier. And yeah. this is, the, you know, many people are now willing to be this because like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not going to be the first. I'm not doing the first move. You should do the first move. And I'm like, well, if you would be willing to do the first move, then things would change. What do you want? Change or not change? And then, you know, that's yeah. so cool. And, and, and what would it take for all of us to be that relaxation, elegance in the world that would allow people to change and allow the space and the ease like i see that the castle all the time where it's like the more space you can be and it's like allow that space but even when we're dealing with hotels right and we're dealing with access like it's like it's just being aware of okay what space would be a contribution here because the more that you can be the space of gifting and receiving because give and take is so easy boom 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 versus actually being that space of okay what space can i be to be a contribution here and allow that space to open up because once you're in that space of relaxation the person starts to relax you can have a joke you can have a laugh everything becomes so much easier i remember last night when i arrived at the coliseums it's a big um stadium in london where they do the show and uh like the security guards are like, oh you're not on the list you're blah, 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 all these problems so i was like oh man so i was like oh cool oh well it's my friend is here and th 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 i just started making jokes with him and then he started to relax and then the other security guards started to relax and they're like okay i guess we can call this guy and see if we can fix it out and i was like cool thanks a million guys so grateful for you you're awesome and it's like just what do they need to hear to allow it to be 
ease and allow that space of ease to open up. And then it became awesome. And I was like, by the end of it, they're like, bye, see you soon. Bye bye. And it's like, wow. We were new best friends. Yeah, but it's like, it's so, it's just, it's so easy. Life can be. But it so- would be too easy, right? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah, would yeah. be too easy. So we make it hard. <laughs> cool. Wow. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Nicolette, beautiful talking to you as always. Yeah. So uh, what classes have you got coming up? What exciting new things have you got going on? Um, I'm just having the bar class in November um, awesome. and because I am, um, I'm launching my first book here in oh, Budapest. Wow, really? Yes. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. So it's in Hungarian only for now. Mm-hmm. They wrote the... Um, four words, yeah. Four words. Yes, thank mm-hmm. you. And it's not an access book, but kind of an access book. So it yeah. has my story with the tools I was using. So it's kind of is. Um, and we are launching the book in the end of September. So I'm working on that. So we already ordered 10,000 copies. So that's awesome. Yay, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And then and then only the Barsas, and then we're gonna have some foundation. But I knew I heard that you are coming to Budapest. Yes, I'm coming to Budapest next month. So it's it's actually a lady we've been doing in London. We've been doing uh bars at the park. So we've been just going to different parks in London and setting up bars and running bars. And this lady from Hungary actually messaged you. She's like, Wow, I've been so inspired. I'd love to uh start it in Hungary. So yeah, hopefully that'll start. Um but wow. we're doing yeah it was awesome yeah so the 24th 25th 26th and 27th i'm in uh budapest we're going to be doing a foundation we're going to be doing um an introduction to bars and business which is going to be a free evening so you can bring your friends or bring anyone involved in business and i'm also going to be doing an introduction to the symphony so i think that's going to be the first time it's going to be done in budapest so uh yeah i'm super excited yeah and it's in august the end of august End of August, yeah, 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th of August. Wow. And can you say more, like, I know we are talking about receiving an elegance, but I'm still so curious. Like, yeah, no, can, you talk a li- can you talk a little bit about a bars in business? Because, you know, I have big classes, like 300 people, so many yeah, people, totally. so many people take, have taken a bars class with me. And I'm really interested, like, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to come to the event for sure. But can yeah. you tell us more? Yeah, totally. So it started around three years ago. So um, a company got in contact with me and they were like, hey, look, we're moving office, we're losing staff and we'd like to do something. So we started running bars with them and all of a sudden it started to become really popular. So we started doing with social media companies, all different types of companies. Um, So then around maybe a year and a half ago Gary got the awareness okay this is going to be really big around the world so I want you to put a team together and start following it up so we set up bars and business and uh, we started probably a year ago so we have liaisons all over the world now which is awesome and uh, so we have different projects where people are bringing bars into businesses and it's showing up in lots of different ways but also what's really cool is it's starting to show up in hospitals it's starting to show up in schools we're now putting together a dedicated program for schools so we'll have one for young kids young for one for teenagers and one for teachers and um yeah it's just growing and growing so yeah we're doing it with like some big companies like bp in london like some really big guys but also it can be like small companies medium-sized companies ever and just in running bars but as we were talking about earlier on when you allow the relaxation everything starts to change the business starts to grow life yeah. becomes easier and you you know it's like it just grows and grows and grows yeah that's amazing so in my company my guys they got a bar session every week everyone yeah awesome good idea and what would it say what would it, if you tap into the energy of what would it create in the world if everybody got their bars run once a week yeah and it's like we're looking at bars in sport we're looking at bars in schools but like if these kids had these tools at the start it would make such a difference so it's like and it's yeah, a I, really, it, it's one of those projects and access that's really exploding actually and um yeah it's um yeah i'm delighted to be doing doing different uh meet and greets around the world yeah it's amazing because um so it's really funny so my team is not really so so not everyone uh has taken like a bar class or a foundation before they came to work with me okay wow. and yeah. i have one girl um she haven't 
gone to any classes before she started with me. And so um, this girl, she comes every week and gives them a bar session. And every time she had a bar session or either she had a meeting and she was rushing or she was, you know, behind with work or she was on the massage table and like, you could see that she can't relax. And then I was like, hey, you don't have to do this if you don't want. But, you know, this is a really amazing thing if you would be willing to just relax into. Mm. She's like, yeah, but, you know, I have a lot of work to do and I can't relax and blah, blah, blah. And, and just, I just let her. I'm like, hey, you don't have to do this. Don't worry. You can say no. Okay. And today I had a conversation with her and she was like, oh, I have to tell you something. Like what happened? She's like, I got a bar station today and I was relaxing and I feel amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, there you go. I'm like, that's, that's, and you know, we don't even know how to relax. We don't even allow ourselves yeah. to relax. Just the same thing that you said with the, with the, the cinema going in the morning. Oh, I have to do this. I have to do that. Yeah. I have work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, it and was, it was so interesting actually receiving that experience and seeing what it created. And it was like, wow, okay, cool. How does it get any better? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Oh, cool. Sounds cool. amazing. So we can wait to see you in Budapest. And then yes, I like if you guys are around Hungary or or everywhere, you can just fly here. I think Budapest is amazing. I was in the United States and coming back to Europe was such an like i love this city is so beautiful it's so beautiful and and yeah. i every time i'm driving around walking around i feel like how can i be so lucky that i'm living in this city so yeah. and it's and it's very easy to get to it's a stunning city and it's like it's probably when i think about what you've created because like three or four years ago i did a, a foundation in budapest and i remember like everyone was arguing with people. They were like, I have to facilitate different CFs. There was like, it was a now it's like hungry is just exploding. So it's like, yes. what can we create? What can we change? And what can we change around the world that allows everything just to be more ease and allows more elegance of receiving? Because the more we relax, the more we receive, everything starts to open. Mm. So that's truly possible. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yay, it's nice awesome. to talk to you. Thank you. Oh, always a lovely to talk to you. And uh, I will see you in Budapest in a month's yes. time. How does it get any better? Thank you. Thank Have you. Bye, guys. Day.